On today's fake food making episode, I'm attempting to make fake lemons. I'm trying nail polish, clear glue, Mod Podge, and resin. Which one's going to turn out? You got to keep watching to find out. I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor, and I'm so glad you're here. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. A lot of people use resin and silicone molds to make their fake food. So I decided to try something a little bit different just to see if it worked. I didn't have any silicone molds, so I did a little bit of Googling and some YouTube research and I read that you can use Vaseline to make it so that the resin or whatever product you're using wouldn't stick to whatever you're using as mold. Now these are canning lid jar thingies and I'm using that and I'm just putting Vaseline on it and it didn't really say how much, so we're just winging it. And I'm kicking things off and I'm using clear nail polish. And this is just nail polish that I got from Dollar Tree. I didn't Google if adding paint to nail polish would mess it up or not. And I later saw that some people use like a stain or like a ink type thing, but that's not what I had on hand. So paint it is. I poured it into a little cup and I used the nail polish brush to mix it all together. And then I thought it was a bit too dark. So I used some of the mixture that I made and I put it back into the nail polish bottle and kind of poured that into my mold thing. I kind of mixed it all together in the little bottle there, shaking it up. And then I'm going to pour it into what I'm using as a mold. For test trial number two, I'm using clear liquid glue that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And it's in the school supply section. Okay. Again, same game plan. I'm just going to use some paint and pour it into this little cup and mix it all together and then pour it into the jar lid thing that I'm using as a mold. We're gonna try Mod Podge for this one. They carry it at Dollar Tree, but I had some on hand. And for this, I'm not sure if the type of Mod Podge is gonna matter or not, but I'm using the dishwasher safe one. And I mixed some paint, like the same paint I've been using, and I put that into a cup and I poured in some of the Mod Podge, mixed it all together and poured it into my mold. And the last attempt is with resin. And full disclaimer, I did not reread the instructions on how to do this. So how this turns out is kind of gonna be partly on me, <laughs> but I'm just kind of doing it from memory. And I added some paint to it and again, mixed it together. I don't know if adding paint to it matters or not, but that's what I did. So this is how they looked after I kind of just set them in. And I think they had dried at this point for most of the day. And then I let them dry for probably almost, I guess, two days, almost two days total. And then this is how they're all kind of setting up. They're not looking real promising, <laughs> but I remove all of the, you know, quote unquote lemons from the molds. And this is how they turned out. You know, I was really hoping to show y'all some sort of cool alternative to ways to make fake lemons, but you know, I would kind of consider this one <laughs> an epic fail because none of them were usable. Like the ones, I think that's the glue one and it just like shriveled up. Those are the nail polish ones. And although they were, you know, not bad, they were just so thin because the, I didn't have a good thicker mold for it. That was the Mod Podge one, and it was still wet when I pulled it out of the mold. So, you know, they just didn't turn out, y'all. So today's video is part of an awesome fake sweets collab, and I joined some really amazing creators, and we were challenged to make fake foods, but choose something sour. And I'll have everybody's channel linked below, and I really hope you'll check them all out and click on the playlist down below, and it'll take you to all of the videos and I've already watched a couple of them and they're really, some of them are really good. So I think you'll enjoy them. Since my fake lemons <laughs> didn't turn out, let's try and make a cute sign to redeem myself. And I'm just taking this mason jar sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove all the embellishments. I'm actually going to use the back of the sign, but I am going to remove all the paper off the back, even though you're not going to see it. <laughs> I just like it to look clean and all finished. So I use a very, very wet rag um, or washcloth and I just let that set on top of the sign or the paper that I'm trying to remove and then it it peels off pretty easily I use my little scraper tool to kind of peel off the rest of it and I let it set some more and kind of peel off I let it set some more and peel off again until I get it all off and once all that's removed and the sign is dry I'm just going to paint it white all over as kind of a base coat 
and then I decided to remove the handle. I just wasn't feeling it to be honest. So I used my scissors and it was easy enough to cut off just like that. I didn't have to, wasn't really any effort or anything like that to get it cut off. And on this side, it had a little straw kind of thing at the top. So I decided to kind of sketch a little line so I would know where to put the straw when I painted it my way. And I'm taking this really pretty blue color and I'm gonna paint the top half of it, this blue color. And of course I'm avoiding the straw area because I don't want the straw to be blue. <laughs> and since this is gonna be a mason jar filled with lemonade, I'm taking my new favorite maize paint and I'm painting the bottom half yellow. I'm using a pretty watermelon color to start painting in the stripes on the straw. And then I'm taking another yellow color. I forget which one it is, but anyway, I'm taking my round sponge brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just making some circles. This is going to become lemons inside the lemonade later. And you see that circle to the left. That was going to be a lemon that I was going to kind of put at the top. I decided not to. So I'm taking another shade of yellow and kind of painting in some like the lemon sections and just trying to give it some different dimension and not just look like a flat painting. And then I decided I didn't like the color. <laughs> so I went over it with like kind of a pink color to kind of soften the, I don't know, it just seemed like kind of like a really bold color and it wasn't really jiving with the rest of the colors. So that's why I kind of went over it with the pink paint. And then I took my black paint pen and I started outlining everything just to kind of add a little fun and whimsy. And yeah, I was making this little slight lemon slice thing. I just, it didn't like it. So I ended up not using it. And I take the white paint pen and I add some highlights around everything and yeah, just kind of um, adding little touches here and there as I see. And this is how it turned out. I did add a decal that says happy summer. I used my Cricut to make that, but you could certainly hand letter it as well or trace it on or use stickers. And I think it turned out, <laughs> I think it turned out super cute. Although the straw probably needs to be a little higher. <laughs> Maybe I should have kind of added something to make it a little bit higher, but overall, I think it turns out really cute. And you know, while it's not the fake lemons I was trying for, it works. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company and I hope you enjoyed me showing you my attempts to make fake lemons and I hope you enjoy this little happy summer lemonade sign that I made. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, my handle is our gray house, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, the links to the channels and the playlist is going to be in the description box as well as the link to my Facebook crafting group. So check it out.